Okay, I said we'd do more videos, and so I want to try to actually do that. So I'm going to shoot just a little bit of a live video walking around. We uploaded one yesterday, lots of fun. Today we're working outside a little bit. Uh, still excited about those trees, the Cedars of Lebanon. I think we think we, by the way, we think we found maybe five or six, if you can imagine that, uh, walking around the yard. And Leslie was pulling out weeds in the middle today, and then I uh, came in with the weed whip uh, and uh, did a little bit of head trimming. That's been fun. This hedge here is massive. Look, I just trimmed it. It's still like, I don't know, eight feet tall. And I'm working on this one now. You can see I got the front, but the back is still high. It's, uh, it's really quite the job. Lots and lots of landscaping. One thing that's super fun is uh, we're, we're generally pretty... Um, low budget kind of people and so I generally don't buy great tools or expensive tools just what we can afford um, and in Canada and America I could not afford steel but here in France they're pretty reasonable and I am really happy with this guy like 150 bucks euro of course uh, and it's just been working so great and uh, so anyways it's kind of fun to have tools you kind of have to be an opportunist right you have to find out what's what's available the other thing that's um, I would love to get done someday is you look at the old pictures and it was a big gravel square or like the sand and so much of it's grown in and I would love to clear it out and just have it sand again but of course incredible amount of work and so I thought well let's, what about this guy and so sure enough I'm just doing this with one hand but you know you can just it just pulls right up it's no problem at all so someday we'll get that done it won't it'll be a while uh, also we took down some of the poles. If you look at our earlier pictures, you'll notice a big sign there. Love that. Took, took this one out too. Love that. Um, and uh, let me take you around to the back to show you the staircase that we The staircase that we are uh, taking out. But it's not staircase, sorry, it's a fence. Sometimes when I'm walking and talking, I don't have the ability to do both at the same time. Honestly, it was about a year it took us to get this yard going again you'll notice the train station is weed whipped finally uh, that took forever and there again another one of our cedars of lebanon Man, i love that tree the jedi tree i used to call it and then here we have the griffery rose which we're waiting for the right moment we're going to cut it down it all fell down and it's just too big to prop up so we're going to wait till the end of the season cut it back and then prop it up but still looks don't they look great just love the roses on this property and this has been a project we've been taking out this fence. Again, our uh, previous owner, Mr. Menude, was very careful and he had an amusement park. And apparently once somebody was having a, a picnic under this tree and a huge branch came down and he was quite worried for their safety. So he put up a fence, but it kind of makes, uh, kind of makes the yard uneven. So we're taking it down and already it feels bigger. And we've got lots of fencing for, uh, for when we need it. Lots of work, and again, that grass was about a year between mowings, what with COVID keeping us out of the country, and also um, my mower breaking. But now it's all working, and we're back in the country. Good news. Okay, more good news. Bottle ladder. Um, if you can imagine it, that is a 30-foot ladder. <laughs> it's a 30-foot ladder. It's not big enough. I don't have a heart, like I could get maybe a 35 foot ladder, like a 10 meter ladder, or a, there's a couple eights. They're like 500 euros here, so they're a lot of money. And I can't really, I still can't get up to the top. But this ladder is going to get me up high enough to fix that gutter. So if I can just figure out how to separate the thing. No, maybe, maybe I'll show you, and maybe some of you guys will know how to do this. Because for the life of me, I can't figure it out. Bought a wheelbarrow today, 25 bucks, pretty cheap. And these pails were one dollar each and caulking which the roofers want to charge us twenty dollars for a tube bless their hearts okay let's take a look so here we have our big problem right you can see the green that is not good no bueno water is spilling out and right by around the top of the ladder is spilling out now i can't figure out for the life of me how to separate these guys um, because these joining pieces seem to be like driven right into the stone. So I don't think they move. Um, and yet it seems that the joining piece is connected to the piece above it. Um, 
if any of you has a clue on how to get these things apart, I'm trying to wiggle it. I'm trying to, you, you'd think that the pieces would come out, but for the life of me, I cannot figure it out. If I can figure it out, it will be much easier. If we can't figure it out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a very small two inch square in the front. I'm going to bend back the metal and then I'm going to get a stick in there to loosen up all the junk. Then I'll bend it back down and caulk it. And uh, it's not great, but at least, at least then we have access another time as well. So again, yard's looking good. Um, and you notice it, without the fence there, it just it brings it over to the left so much nicer. So that's super cool. Anyways, we're all working. Uh, what's Bess doing? Leslie is still, if you can believe it, she's still cleaning the house from when the students were here. And uh, laundry takes forever because we got to do all the beds and all the towels. And some of them are pretty dirty. <laughs> no, no shade. But some of them were pretty dirty. So she's working hard. Uh, and uh, and that's fun. Anyways, just a little video. Hope I hope you enjoyed it. Walking around the yard, doing a little bit of yard work, uh, and getting ready for our sun to arrive tomorrow. Yay, yay, David. Okay, have a good uh, have a good day, everyone.